Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about that if you are a new in the service now industry and you got a story and if you don't know that what is the update set, how to capture object into the update set, that thing we are going to discuss in our today's session. So let's assume that you are a developer, new developer into the service now. You got a story called STY001. This is the story number and the story title is saying that add a field called customer impact field under the incident form and um, this is all about the in details like what should be the field type where should the field should be visible what all type of um, what all drop down should be visible all that story you have got assigned and you don't know that how to do that so let's talk about that one by one how to create an update set and then how all these objects get captured into your update set to work with your update set and the object first thing we have to discuss about that scope so scope, you can see that application scope in your right side. Normally, if you are working on the incident problem change, those objects, you can choose the application equal to global. So there are multiple applications available into the system. Depending on your requirement, you can switch the application. To create an update set, you can go to this left side and click the all. And then here you can type called local update set. So you can go and then start with searching called local update set. Once you um, type called local update set, you can see that one module available called under system update called local update set. You can click this local update set module and here you can see that multiple update set are available at that moment. We can simply click this new button to create our own update set. So we'll click this new button. A new update set form will be open. Right side you can see that application is global. I am I'm telling you again and again, application is a very important thing. And then after that, you can see the name. So what should be the name? Generally, the name start from your uh, story number. So you can put the story number. Then you can put like underscore uh, your naming convention called RK. So this uh, this varies depending on your uh, industry wise, um, your company wise. Somebody says like the standard should be story underscore your name underscore something like that. Depending on your requirement, they can see that. As you can see that the update set state is in progress. It will be always in progress until unless your uh, development is completed. The state should be in progress. You can save that. Once you save that, a update set will be created and under this update set, you can see the bottom called customer update, which will capture your object. Okay, so update set you created called story, RK, something like that. And then here under this customer update, all the object will be captured whenever you will work on that. Okay, now you can see that there is a one important related link called make this my current update set. So you created the update set. You save that update set but this update set not in your current update suite okay so you have to make that update set to your current then only the system will automatically capture the object so we'll click this make this current my update set once you click that you can see that your current update set has been changed to this one so you can see that a new uh, message is coming called the update set changed also you can click this right side here and you can see that update set name also show here so make sure that whatever update set you are supposed to capture that update set visible under your right set called update set so that's it so your correct update set is um, uh, created now let's go back to our requirement our requirement says that we need to create a field called customer impact field and uh, that should be under incident form so we'll go here and then we'll create a new field called customer impact field under incident form. So we'll go to our incident table. So we'll search called incident here. And then we'll open our incident table. So let's see uh, if we can open the incident table. So we can see that we have a um, assigned to me uh, this module. We can open that. And then we can open any of this incident record first. So let's say that I'll picking uh, one of the random incident called demo incident and there I'm going to add a field called uh, customer impact that field. So let's assume that that field has to be present under the after property. I need to add that field. So what I'll do, I'll right click, configure, form layout. This is depending on your requirement. So I am telling you that how you can add the field. So if your requirement are different on the story, you can do the different thing. But I am going to do that, that I'm just going to work on based on the requirement. So let's say that 
I'm selecting a field call um, or I'm selecting a name called customer impact and then type as you can see that the type is saying that description called choice but let's say that I do I forget actually to change the type to choice I actually created that a type equal to string and I can just simply click add let I'm, I'm just giving you that example what will be happen so we just added that field we'll add the field uh, um, after uh, maybe um, priority we'll add the field after priority okay and let's save that so let's see that what happens if we create the field so field created if we click the close button the field will be visible under incident form so it's a quick small development as you can see that our field created called customer impact as a string field but as our requirement was called drop down but we by mystically created as a string field called customer impact now if you go to this update set module again called story sty001 underscore rk there is a module as i said that related link called customer updates if you click here you will be able to see that multiple things capture okay so one of the cap things captured called dictionary another called field level and then third called form layout okay three things capture or three things automatically created whenever we created these uh, fields so what does it mean by that so whenever we created a field it create three object one called dictionary entry like what should be the dictionary one called label what should be the field level we said that customer impact that is the label and then uh, the third is the form layout whenever you changes anything under this incident form that also capture called customer impact so three object created okay now let's assume that if i update this field type from uh, string to choice is it going to create a new entry here let's try to see that so if you go here go to this dictionary so this is your uh, dictionary of that um, customer impact uh, this dictionary is the place where we can update the label we can update the type so let's say that i'm going to change this type from uh, string to choice okay so if we update or if we change this field type is it going to create a new entry here let's see that so we just go and then save that so as you can see that the type got changes from string to choice and if i go back to this customer update and if we refresh that you surprisingly see that there is no changes there is no entry created okay because if you update the same object again and again there will be no new creation of this customer update there will be a single creation for that object okay so if we do like created and updated together so let's say that i will add that updated field again okay so there will be you will be able to see that new changes okay so the point i am trying to make that previously the field of the dictionary of this record was string but we changed to the choice still this has not been any changes why because if you see this creation time is 624 but updation time is 626 so whenever you uh, make any changes so this record will be automatically update but it will not create another entry it does not mean like whenever or every time if we update something in this dictionary there will be a new record created no so every time if you update something on that a particular object which already captured in your update set it will just update that object you can see it's just update that but it was created five minutes back but as we updated this label it's just update that entry so every time if you create a or if you update modify that it will just hold a updated um you know record here okay now what is the update set you probably know that update set is basically help you to move the data from one instance to the another instance so let's assume that this is our service now developer instance and in this developer instance they have asked for this requirement like this is the requirement we have completed this requirement now does this needs to be performed same things whenever we will move that data to the test or production instance no you don't need to perform same action to the test or production instance you can simply move these objects or you can simply move these records and our system will automatically do whatever things you needed so you created a long code maybe thousand line of code you don't need to copy and paste that code again into that other environment you can simply move this update set to the other environment and system will automatically um 
capture that and move that i'll show you that upcoming so as you know that we have created a um, field called customer impact now let's say that i want to uh, this is a choice right if i go back to this uh, incident form right now uh, how it looks like that if i go back to the incident form as this was uh, not a uh, string anymore this is a choice we need to add some choice field you can see that these are the choice right high medium low you can see these are the choice similarly if you want to add the choice how can we do add the choice you can right click and then you can click the configure choice and then you can add the choice okay so let's uh, assume that a first choice called major so we added the major choice and click the save okay so we added a choice entry called major so what will be happen uh, you can see the drop down it is a value called major you can see that it is visible now if i go back here click refresh there you can see that a new entry created called choice list so a choice list entry created under update set and that have a major now if we add one more choice does it going to be update or does it going to create a new choice list here into the update set let's see that so you can go to this configure choice again and then we are going to add call uh, minor one more choice and then click add and then save that let's see that what is happening so right now if you see that under this customer impact we have a major we have a minor two drop down but does it created a new update set or new entry into the update set let's see that no it does not uh, created a new entry it just updated that you can see it's it was created uh, 631 13 but updated 631 50 so it's just updated the choice list or you can say just refresh that so this way we can capture multiple object it automatically captures that in your system so you can see that whatever things we are doing we are creating a customer impact drop down all these are automatically captured here now let's say that somebody ask you a requirement that this customer impact needs to be mandatory so let's assume that C requirement to make this mandatory you can simply go to this dictionary level and click the mark that mandatory checkbox select and click update so this field will be become mandatory but does it going to be captured or does it going to create a new entry no it does not create a new entry but you can see that it just update the dictionary entry okay so this way whatever you changes you have done automatically captured in your update set okay so our requirement is completed once your requirement is completed you can change the state of this story or uh, you can change the state of this update set from in progress to complete so remember that once you mark this complete and click update there should not be any situation that you can go back to the in progress so once you mark that complete it's complete you should not touch this update set anymore so your update set is complete your story is completed now let's assume that during the PR review uh, there is a uh, error or bug found for example you can see that as per your requirement it says that minor should be default so the drop down a default value should be minor but we actually forget to do that right so if you see that the default value is none but we have to select the default value equal to minor so this is the miss we have done or we you can see that we have done a mistakes so there should not be any situation that to fix that you again go back from complete to in progress this should not be done because service now best practice says that once your update set is completed it's completed you should not touch this update set what you can do we can create another update so you can simply go and then copy this name and go back to the uh, local update set module again and then we can create another update set okay so we'll create another update set so we'll click that and then click the new button here and this time you can see that once you click the new button by default it is coming called story 001 rk2 so name is already coming you can uh, click save or you can click the submit and make current anything is uh, possible so you can select that submit and um, make current make sure you check that your update set change to that uh, new one so that has to be uh, make sure so you can refresh that screen and see that uh, our new update set are picked from the speaker or not in that right side as you can see the new update set is picked in the picker now we can change these uh, changes okay so what we'll do we'll go again and then open this uh, story rk2 uh, this update set right now there is nothing 
okay now during the peer review or testing we found a bug so what we had to do we have to make this is a default value equal to minor okay before that we have created the update set mark that update set as a current now we'll go here right click go to the dictionary again and then we'll change as per our requirement so we are going to make that as a default so what we'll do we'll go back here under this drop down we'll select that uh, drop down without none and then under this default value we'll put a uh, minor here okay so we'll put that a uh, minor as a value and then we'll click this update options here so what will be happen this drop down will be set and uh, that incident value drop down will be default is minor so let's go back to the incident form so as you can see that the default value set as a minor after my refreshing of this screen now if i go back here under this update set and you can see that there is another entry created so what is happened under this version one there are four entry created one of the entry was called dictionary and then second update set we have created that also have a dictionary okay so we have right now two uh, two update set for this story what we can do that we can mark that story as, uh, or we can mark this uh, update set as complete right now we have two update set and if somebody or any developer has to move that what they have to do, move that they have to first move this update set then this update set if they change the order there will be some issue for these things we can resolve by another uh, thing what we can do that as you know that we have two updates here one is called uh, this update set and this update set and then sequence for these update sets are this should be moved first into the another update uh, another environment and this should be moved after that to avoid this sequence issue like if this somebody move this one first there could be a problem to avoid this sequences issue what we can do that we can create another update set we'll go and then create another update set and uh, and we can simply create another update set here and this time instead of uh, three we can put like name called parent anything is fine but we can put like parent and simply save that okay once you create a parent update set you can add these two child update set in between there so in the parent update set you can add these two child update set to avoid the sequencing issue okay so what we can do that we can go to this child update set click the edit button and then we can simply add these update sets so we can go here and then simply search for this update set move there and then save that so what will be happen right now for this story right now we have three uh, three update set one is called story rk parent that have two child update set called rk and rk2 what you can do you can simply move this update set to the next environment and once you move to the next environment system will automatically take care uh, based on this um, update uh, um, time and then you don't need to follow the order or sequence the system will automatically um, create this field called customer impact and then the default value will be set to the minor depending on uh, whenever whenever you will move this update set to the next environment so that's it for today's video if you have any question let me in my comment section thank you very much have a great day